Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jamie back for another high definition gameplay of Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the PS3. Today we got a game of Conquest, uh, second part of a game I previously posted. I'll put a link in so you can check that out if you wish. And here we go. Uh, basically, we wanted to make this video, guys, to talk about the uh, beta we've been playing for, uh, I guess, about a week now on the... Uh, Battlefield 3, uh, available on the Xbox, PS3, and of course the PlayStation. I don't know what everybody's opinion of the beta is, but to me it is not that great, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I find it's a very choppy, very campy, uh, just not a great experience altogether. The uh, You can't really have any conversation with your squad mates, uh, at least on the PS3 you can't. I uh, know on Xbox you got the... Uh, well, a lot of things you can use, but unfortunately we don't have that ability. Uh, but I just find that the gameplay itself is just absolutely terrible. Uh, I find the map that they choose for that they chose, sorry, for the beta was uh, not the greatest. Uh, again, I know the PC players got to experience the Caspian Border map, which looks uh, a lot more epic than uh, what Operation Metro does. And to be quite honest with you, I don't really care if I ever see that map again. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, the, the game type is Rush, of course, and uh, it's all about getting the MCOMs stations uh, under control, and um, it's just, it's absolutely terrible. I mean, there's three or four choke points in the map, and, you know, either you're on attack or on defense. It just seems that if you get those control points, you either win or lose, and it's just, it's just absolutely terrible. I don't know what the actual mindset uh, of DICE was to release the beta I guess you know it was more or less I guess really to test the servers and what they can handle that kind of thing but I just think it's just been terrible I mean I've never had a good connection uh, maybe one or two games that have been decent but I mean those games you just you know you gotta do what everybody else is doing just sit back seems like everybody is sniping with the SV98 and it's just absolutely horrendous in my opinion but uh, we all have an opinion about that. Uh, I know we're only a couple of weeks away from the release. Uh, just got an email a little while ago uh, saying that they want everybody on this week and try to test the servers. But I mean, you know, I've been a couple of tweets and uh, apparently the servers are even more laggy tonight than what they were in previous nights uh, and I guess that's uh, just them trying to get more players loaded on and test servers and you can't blame them for that because I mean I guess they're trying to make it as best they can for when it actually releases because I really really do think that the beta was there to attract some uh, Call of Duty players because that gameplay is exactly like Call of Duty you hang back it's kind of a one man army show uh, everybody's kind of playing for themselves there's nobody chipping in to play the objective, which is what, in my opinion, Battlefield's all about. Uh, KD doesn't mean a big lot, and again, this is only my opinion, guys, and it's just a little rant that uh, I want to get out there before the game actually came out. Uh, and again, I value all your guys' opinions, and I read all the comments, and I would like everybody to uh, tell me what their thoughts are of the beta. I mean, I know pretty much everybody who's played uh, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 2, have uh, at least tried the beta a couple times. Uh, I have never had what I can say has been a good full game with the beta. Uh, again, just a you know just a really bad connection one time, and the next time it's just everybody camping. You get frustrated. You're back in the game, and that kind of thing. Uh, it just seems like uh, you can't really get a good team together because it breaks up your squads. And I don't know why they never you know had those particular issues fixed. Just let people really experience what is Battlefield all about. I mean, Battlefield is not about small maps, uh, you know, kind of run and gun. It's not what the game's about. I mean, that's more of a Call of Duty uh, trademark than what it is for Battlefield. Battlefield's about the big maps, tanks, helicopters, uh, of course, in Battlefield 3, jets. Uh, you know, just all kinds of different things to help you really win and, you know, achieve the goal, which is, uh, of course, winning the particular match that you're playing, like in this one's Conquest. I mean, you got to do what it takes to get the win, and if that means dying to keep control of a, a flag or to get an MCOM station, I mean, that's what you got to do. And I just find the beta really is promoting the camping aspect 
Uh, and it's just not real good. They're going, you know, of course they're trying to draw over some more Call of Duty players. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's all about marketing and that sort of thing. Uh, and you can't blame them for that, I guess, but they should have really showcased more of the Battlefield experience, in my opinion, again. Um, so, like I say, we're only a couple weeks away from the release. Uh, this will be the final weekend for the beta. I'm recording this video on the 7th. So uh, the beta is only until the 10th, of course, and uh, then we got a couple of weeks before the game actually releases. And I know the game is going to be better. It's just uh, get really, really frustrated playing the game. And uh, like I say, I don't really care if I ever see the map Operation Metro ever again. Uh, and it may play uh, pretty well on uh, like a you know a squad rush or a squad deathmatch game where you only have 4v4. But uh, you know, with the 12 on 12 or on PC, I guess it's going to be a lot higher players on each side I think it's just gonna be a really frustrating map and uh, I just don't care if I ever play it again basically but anyway uh, just let you guys know what's happening in this uh, particular match we are playing conquest uh, me in a full squad and of course I'm running as medic with the M249 which I think is a great gun again tried that gun in uh, Battlefield 3 quite a few times and you know it's still a great gun the bipod is absolutely a must uh, to keep the gun on target which I think is a nice little touch you know there's a couple little things like that that they've added to the game that really add a nice dynamic to it I mean uh, with the assault having the med kits I think is a great little touch to you know because obviously with assault you're always pushing forward so that's a great thing and that's another thing too that people uh, that are playing uh, Battlefield 3 are not dropping ammo packs or med packs or whatnot. I mean, you know, that's that's the whole concept of the game, and I really think uh, the beta, the concept of what Battlefield really, really, truly is, was lost. And I mean, they never had any tanks or anything in it for people to check out. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people ranting on this same subject, but I just, uh, you know, thought I'd make a video and just really to get my frustrations out about the game. Uh, or the beta, I should say, because I mean, I do know the game is going to be better, and I'm really looking forward to it. And a lot of people are saying you're still going to buy it. Of course, I'm still going to buy it. I already have it paid for, actually. I'm just waiting for the uh, the midnight release, and I'm sure I'll be one of the first in line to uh, get my hands on it, like a good many people will. And uh, I'm sure I will enjoy it to the fullest. Uh, I know this weekend they're opening up the Caspian border. Uh, map for everybody on PC, not just. Uh, a closed uh, kind of invite kind of thing so they're going to really put, try to put the strain on the servers and that's that's a big thing too I mean you know the character itself even in Battlefield 3 to me seems very heavy like the movements are not fluent uh, I know again I play on the PS3 and I know a lot of people I've seen videos on the on the PC and it looks a lot more smooth and it seems to run a lot smoother because this game or Battlefield 3 sort of was really and truly designed to be a PC game and it's great that they're making it work for the console because I mean if you just look at this map on the PS3 I think it's absolutely wonderful I mean the graphics are good the the, the movement of your character feels good and you know your hit detection is wonderful and you know it, it just it, it really does feel like a great game and uh, I really do enjoy it and I mean if Battlefield 3 doesn't turn into what everybody hopes it or expects it to be I mean I will certainly go back to this game without an issue whatsoever and play it for you know the next six seven eight months I mean because I really do enjoy it um, another aspect that uh, as you all know they added to Battlefield 3 was uh, the ability to go prone and I mean I cannot tell you how many times I've been hit with a sniper rifle from a guy just sitting way on the back of the map and just you know that's all he's doing he doesn't care about the objective and you know it's just a different play style I think than what we're used to seeing here we go with the tanks and you know here's you know this is battlefield I mean you know it's a part of the game and I mean you know you have to decide now what do you do do you come back I mean you need to help out your squad you have to eliminate that tank because if not it's just going to take control of one of your flags and probably affect you whether you win or lose the game and I really feel that in uh, battlefield 3 that aspect wasn't brought forward and I think you know people buy the game based on the gameplay that uh, the beta was given it was going to be you know I, I hate to say misled but it is a little bit misleading in my opinion and uh, I think if they had a little bit more of this type of gameplay in it it would be a lot better for everybody involved but uh, anyway guys that's just 
quick video I wanted to make and just give you my two cents on the beta so far. I'm going to play Bang Company 2 until it comes out and hopefully everything gets better and I'll put up some videos for you guys. And again guys, if you like what I have to say, appreciate you checking my channel and hit the like button or dislike, whatever you prefer. And if you guys could check out my channel, that would be great. Anyway guys, take care and we'll talk to you soon.